Hi to those of you on Facebook and those of you who are watching live, those of you who are going to watch the replay and for those of you who are watching on another form of social media. My name is Lillian Larty. I'm a health, wellness and well-being specialist and a transformational coach. I specialise in helping women, ambitious women, business women and professional women who feel run down, burnt out, stressed out overwhelmed, anxious. Um, I help them to navigate their life back to living with less stress, more calm, peace, resilience and rest. And today's video is about showing up with resilience, developing a gift to bounce back when life feels tough or feels like a bitch. And how many of us know that we've been going through <laughs> various tough terrain recently uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic, with the racial tension pandemic that's been um, taken over in the world today and so many other systems that seem to be crumbling around us that we thought were secure and safe and not only on a global perspective or an economical perspective but even on our own personal perspective as well. Maybe professionally you're finding that things are a bit shaky. Perhaps in your personal life you're uncovering that things are not as stable as you thought they were. Well in today's video, in today's live, I'm going to share with you a simple approach to be able to develop that gift of bouncing back because there are some situations that can come into our life that can knock us, that can floor us, that can keep us feeling down for not only days, weeks, months, even years. And um, I, I speak from personal experience um, as well as from learning experiences of what my clients go through and what other people are going through on a day-to-day -day basis as well. So hopefully you'll be able to take one or two things from this live video today and apply it to your life, your situation, and so that you can bounce back with um, more life, bounce back with well-being, bounce back with wellness, and be able to be strong, to be able to navigate what is going on Situation. So as usual, I've got my notes with me so that I don't spend hours on here. Um, and like um, I said earlier, you might take one or two things from here. So always have a pen and a note pad handy or paper handy so that you can follow along. Otherwise, you can watch the replay back and um, take notes from there. So without further ado, I will get going. So for those of you who don't know my story, my background and why I set up and um, get my life back, I, um, at the age of 40, burnt out from stress. Previous to that, I was running a successful business. I was running three busy massage clinics in London. Um, I was a personal trainer, fitness trainer. I was teaching exercise fitness classes throughout London as well in various gyms, clubs. Um, all my classes were full um, and I had a number of personal training clients. And when I did talk training, people wanted high impact stuff. Um, on top of that, like I said, running three busy massage clinics as well. So I was clocking up 12 hour plus days most of the time. And did I have a day off here and there? Normally it'd be sort of seven days a week, even if I wasn't physically working in my business, I was mentally still churning over ideas and navigating things about my clients and, and all sorts of things. So I didn't really get enough rest. So I'd heard about burnout in the industry and I thought, oh, that's not going to happen to me. I'm strong, I'm healthy, I know what I'm doing. But then eventually one day I woke up and I couldn't get out of bed. And I thought, oh my goodness, what's wrong with me? I had severe brain fog. My body just felt achy and drained and I just couldn't move. Um, I went on a course and when the, the course was about weight loss, because I thought I'll go on it for my clients. And when I went through, when the guy went through all the symptoms of stress and I was like, oh my goodness, okay, that's me. Yes, I'm feeling like that. I'm feeling like that. And I'm feeling like that. And then at the bottom he had in 
I think it was black lettering, <laughs> bold, burnout. And I was like, oh my goodness, am I burnt out? Wow. So um, taking heed of that, it took me a, a, about three months before I actually took um, took a decision to do to take some action on getting myself better. So um, I went on a cleanse. I did like a seven day cleanse and um, all sorts of other things as well. And within seven days, the brain fog had shifted. My energy came back and I just felt like a different person. So I realised that there were some things that I needed to change, especially with my nutrition and my eating, as well as how I treated my body, as well as um, the way that I worked as well was just not in alignment to how my body was or to how um, I was meant to show up in the world. So I did this for several years and then um, still navigating and then slowly but surely stress started to creep in again, still pushing through, navigating, overthinking, being anxious. Um, and then in 2018, I thought I was healthy and then I started to feel a bit unwell. And um, I remember going to the gym and feeling really, really, really worse for wear. And I thought, is this flu? Is this some type of virus or something I'm trying to shake off? And so I didn't really think much of it, but just upped my nutrition a bit. And then um, one evening I just felt really worse for wear. And I was like, oh my goodness, I had a headache. My heart was really thumping and beating fast. I was getting heart palpitations, chest pains, um, and I just felt awful. Like my legs were like jelly. And then I just said, no, I have to check myself into A&E, which I did. I had several tests. My blood pressure was sky high, highest it's ever been in my life. They did so many tests on me. They couldn't find anything. They admitted me into hospital to do further tests as well. And then eventually um, they gave me some type of diagnosis, but Everything was just kaput. I had no iron in me. My thyroid was overly active and um, my, my nutrition levels were just very, very low. So they just said, right, go away, take this medication and make sure that you, you're not stressed. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, how am I supposed to do that? So um, in a nutshell, I surrendered to rest, which was really, really challenging for me. But it was what I needed in order for me to be able to bounce back. It was rest was what I needed in order for me to be to develop more resilience, because what I had been doing all along, like if I had kind of tilted and gone beyond my stress levels and sort of felt burnout ish, I would have just maybe, oh, you know, slept in. I would have upped my nutrition Maybe I would have um, stepped back a bit on my exercise, but I would not have rested as much as I did. I would not have taken up meditation, which is what I did. Um, I would not have taken a break from my business, which is what I did. Um, and so many other things which helped me to develop that level of resilience in order for me to bounce back. Now, in this current climate at the moment, <clears throat> What I'm hearing from a lot of professional women and business women is that with the COVID-19, obviously, we're not in control of what's happening. Um, and as I mentioned before, things were a bit shaky. Some people are realising, well, actually, I don't really want to be going back to a job which is stressful. Um, you know, how can I how can I show up again and and not be enclosed or um oppressed by that stress that is going on in my job even in business you know people are realizing well actually I I don't want to go back to that business I don't want to go back to teaching or helping those clients that I once helped or, or taught and and people are really taking this time to to pay attention to what it is to be able to show up as their best selves now maybe you're facing a situation right now that Maybe you're going through a period of grief. Maybe you yourself had caught the COVID-19 and you're still recovering from that. Perhaps certain things are happening in your family situation where things have totally changed. You're working from home now and you're not working in an office or 
you're not going to a, another place where you could go and work and you're finding it really hard and it's distracting you to be able to concentrate and, and so many other things that people are telling me about. Well, let's see if what I'm going to share with you can help. So first of all, what is, um, oh, and another thing, another thing that I came across actually, before I share what is resilience, um, I was going through, scrolling through social media and I came across this, this wonderful, um, acronym, which was, um, on Mel Robbins, um, her, on her social feed. And she said that people are showing up as toast, which I thought was quite hilarious. Um, and she called it toast, like people are showing up feeling tired, overwhelmed, um, angry, sad and triggered. So I thought, well, that's interesting. I thought, well, that's quite true. And then I thought, well, let me change one or two of the the the, the, the little letters there. And I thought, yeah, from what I've heard from people, especially from women, is that people are showing up as toast, but they're showing up tired, overwhelmed, anxious, because a lot of women are saying to me they're feeling anxious, stressed, <laughs> triggered. Um, how true is that for you? Are you showing up tired, overwhelmed, anxious, or maybe angry, as Mel Robbins said? Perhaps you're showing up sad, feeling depressed, stressed, or triggered. Hmm. So, um, let me know. You could post that in the comments or when you watch the replay, you can post that in the comments as well. So what is resilience? So the dictionary definition says that resilience is the power or the ability to return to the original form position. OK, so return to your original form or position after being bent, compressed or stretched. Yes. And another definition says the ability to recover readily from illness, depression, adversity or the like. Buoyancy. So having that buoyancy, that ability to bounce back, because for some people, depending upon what you've gone through, sometimes it can be a challenge to bounce back to be. Sometimes it can be a challenge to bounce back to to be. Um, even feeling calm, even feeling restful, even feeling joyful, um, even feeling peaceful, it can be a challenge. So what can we do to be able to develop that gift of resilience, that gift of being able to bounce back when life feels like it's getting too much? First of all, is to acknowledge what is happening. There are many people who are still in denial of what is happening when certain things happen in their life. Um, it can be like, or be dismissive, like, yeah, well, it's not, it's not really that bad, but really it is bad. Or, well, it's going to blow over soon or, you know, we'll get over it somehow. And people try to spin a positive stance on certain circumstances, whereas at times spinning a positive spin on um, certain circumstances is not ideal because that puts you in the arena of dismissiveness and denial and that can actually be worse for wear okay so the first thing is to acknowledge what is happening there is no shame in what is happening maybe you you're juggling certain responsibilities at the moment and you're thinking oh my goodness you know I'm finding it really hard to cope and a friend calls you up and says oh how are you doing you oh yeah everything's fine yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need no help. I'm all right. Blah, 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 blah. But after you put the phone down, you're like, oh, my goodness, I can't cope. I'm struggling. I'm stressed. What am I going to do? So admit, because trust me, what you're going through, a lot of other people are going through the same thing. I, I've i been through so many things. And I shared what I went through earlier. And and what I've realised is the power of acknowledging, the freedom of acknowledging what is going on just takes just takes the stress away from what it is that you're actually going through. Because by sharing and even just acknowledging to yourself that, hey, I'm human and I'm going through this and I can't cope and it's really and I'm really finding it tough is the first step to developing that level of resilience and being able to bounce back with success.
okay so acknowledge what it is that you're going through the next step is to admit to yourself which is what I, I mentioned admit to yourself but also acknowledge and give yourself that permission to feel you're going through so as I said you know maybe you're going through you're juggling responsibility you're finding it really stressful hard to cope with etc but the feelings of emotions that you're feeling is you're feeling anxious you find yourself feeling overwhelmed perhaps you're feeling angry perhaps you're going through a, a time of grief and you're feeling really grieved you're feeling pain you're feeling um sadness you're 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 just feeling triggered by something and but you're not admitting it to yourself and you're not allowing yourself, you're not giving yourself that permission to feel through those emotions. By feeling through those emotions and processing them, you're actually clearing them through your body, clearing them through your system. Because the more you harbour and harness or even suppress those emotions, the more contracted you become, the more tense you become and the more rigid you become. Um, it's almost like you numb yourself from feeling those feelings. So therefore, you're not going to be able to bounce back with the resilience you desire to and be able to get on with day to day life. So acknowledge, admit and feel through those emotions, OK, um, and process them. And a, an easy way to process them, number one, is just to admit, it. admit, yeah, I'm feeling angry today. Or I'm feeling really stressed. I'm feeling really anxious. OK, and I'll go through some tools that can help with those emotions as well. Um, as I mentioned earlier, accept what is happening. Accept. Don't be in denial. Don't be dismissive of what's happening. Whatever the situation is for you. And I've shared some examples. It could be, you know, we're still go easing out of lockdown. COVID-19 is still around. And maybe you're finding it challenging going back into work. Work is stressful. Perhaps you're still working from home. Perhaps you haven't got a job at the moment and, and that you're finding really tough. Perhaps your business has nosedived and you're finding that really tough. Or maybe, you know, your business is excelling during this time and you're getting back. But still, you're like still a bit nervous. Oh, I don't know. You know, how do I get back? swing of things again well accept what is happening but be aware of stories that you're telling yourself and what I mean by stories is the thoughts that are coming into your mind because sometimes the thoughts that we're allowing into our mind sometimes the stories that we're telling ourselves can over exaggerate and exacerbate what is actually happening so I give you an example um, we had a family member who was rushed into hospital and instantly I could feel this, this family member's gone into hospital. What are we going to do? Supposing if this happens, supposing if that happens because they're of this age and, and that and, and supposing if that and supposing if and all these stories that were coming into my mind that I was telling myself was just making me more, more stressed and, and making me more anxious as well until when I, I shared it with, um, with someone. And this person said to me, and which is my next point, this person said to me, stop telling yourself these stories. Stop allowing these thoughts to come and harbour in your mind. And I thought, yeah, but it's really hard because, you know, this person, all of a sudden they were OK. Then they were taken and rushed into hospital. And this person said to me, just be at peace with what's happening. And I thought, how can I be at peace with what's happening? <laughs> because I'm the type of person that, I want to fix things and I want to fix the situations and and make everything OK. I don't like seeing people in pain and and this person was in pain. So the person who was advising me was said to me, be at peace. Rather than resist it, ask yourself, what is this situation teaching us? What are we here to learn through this situation? And I thought, Oh, my goodness. You know, now is not the time for me to analyse all of this. But then when I came off that call, I stopped and I listened to what the person was saying. And I was like, OK, what is this situation teaching us or what is this situation teaching me? What am I to learn from it? And rather than me 
take on that that person's pain and make it personal to me because being an empath you know I just feel these things and I was like okay what is this what is this situation here to teach me what am I to learn from this situation and why am I taking it so personal and when I I I, I spent time with those questions I realized oh okay so I'm trying to rescue this person out of their pain, whereas everybody has a right to go through a journey. We're all here for a journey. And it's not for me to prevent that person. It's not for me to fix that person's pain. It's not for me to save that person. And that's what I was trying to do. And in doing that, I was wearing myself out. In doing that, I was stressing myself out. In doing that, I was making myself to be of no use to be of no good use to that person at all. So when I then showed up to the hospital to visit this, this family member, I had to sort of, at first I would say to myself, right, I've got calm, I've got to hide that I'm, I'm anxious and I'm stressed about it and everything. And, and just show up like, everything is okay, you're going to be all right. But that was no good because internally I was feeling like, I just want to fix this person's pain, I want them to feel better and blah, blah, blah. But when I sat with these questions, what is this here? Why am I taking it so personal? What is this here to teach me? And what can I learn from this situation? I actually found peace in that. I actually found that was that was the gift for me, was finding that level of peace. And once I found that level of peace, I was then able to bounce back with resilience. Now, if I didn't have that level of peace, I, I would be no good to that person at all. I would be no good in that situation, um, no matter what was happening, because it would have been on in that situation. So when you're facing, when you're in that situation, whatever your situation is at the moment, ask yourself those questions. What is it that this situation is here for to teach me? What can I learn from this situation or this circumstance, whatever it is? And why am I taking it so personal? Even if it is personally happening to you, if it's happening to somebody else, if it's happening to somebody else close to you, even if it's happening on a global basis, why am I taking it so personally? And, and don't make the answers right or wrong, but simply just sit with them and look for the peace in those answers. Because once you've got that level of peace, that's what's going to help anchor you. And it won't it won't allow you to be tossed to and fro with other emotions that may come in, especially if you've got lots of stories that are going on in your head as well. OK, so then the next point is to gift yourself space and support when you're facing tough times or going through things that you know can just seem too much you're just like you know what another thing that comes into my life is just going to tilt me that is when you can say to yourself you know what before I get to that tipping point, let me reach out for support. Somebody who you can trust, somebody that you know will not judge you, somebody you know who will not shame you and or leave you feeling guilty or bad, but somebody that you know will listen to you and that you can trust. So gift yourself that support. We are all worthy of support. No man is an island. We're, we're human at the end of the day. And no matter how much we think we know, no matter how many qualifications we have in life, we all need support. So gift yourself that space to be able to feel into what's going on and see that, wow, you know, this is really, really too much. And I really need support. Gift yourself that. You're worthy of that. OK. And then in order to bounce back, you want to bounce back looking like you've got life in you, not bounce back like what I mentioned earlier. You don't want to bounce back looking like you're toasted. OK, you don't want to bounce back looking tired, showing up tired, overwhelmed, anxious, stressed and triggered. You want to bounce back looking like you're thriving, looking like you're living. 
not looking like, well, I've got this, I can handle it, I can take it on. Because that's what a lot of us women tend to do. And it's wearing us out. It's burning us out. It's causing us stress. It's making us ill. It's um, impacting our well-being in a negative way. So visualise. Visualise what you would like the outcome to be. Whatever the situation is, if it's too much for you, what, what is it that you would prefer? Now, you might say to yourself, well, Lillian, I'm no good at visualising. I really can't. Well, let me put it this way. If you're telling yourself stories about the situation and you're finding it really tough and it's causing you to feel worried, to feel anxious, to feel depressed, to feel tired, etc. That means you're visualising that situation on some level. OK, so time saying, OK, this is what's happening, but this is what I would prefer. And just sit with it for a minute or so and visualise. Oh, yeah, I would really love it if this could happen or I would really love it if that could happen. And visualise that. And give yourself the gift of sleep. Now, when life gets too much and you're finding, you're feeling that it's too much, sleep. Because this will help your body to regenerate itself so that you can have the adequate energy to be able to show up, to show up well and to show up like you're, you're living life and not life is living you. OK, nutrition, make sure that you're eating well, make sure you're staying hydrated as well and and ensure that you are taking time out to to eat well, to be well, to get outdoors so that no matter what's happening around you, you're able to bounce back with the buoyancy. OK, with that with that level of resilience, with energy. If it works for you, meditate. Meditation is not for everybody and there are different ways of meditating as well. If you find it really challenging to meditate, then spend time, take time out, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, whatever. Being quiet, being still, sitting somewhere and just being present with your breath. Just connecting with your breath, breathing in, breathing out and not thinking about the situation or the tough, the tough um, time that you're going through. And I know it can be hard because you can say, oh, Lillian, you know, it's around me. It's, it's in my face every day. I get that. I know. But you can take time out to just be, to just be still, to just focus on your breath. And by doing that, it brings you into the present and it can help you to be grounded and to be centred as well. And that's what's going to help you to bounce back with buoyancy and resilience. And then um, be patient with the process. Whatever it is that you're facing right now, you know, we can be in that situation wanting to fix things quickly and be in control. And because we don't want to feel that emotional pain, we don't want to feel the mental pain of what we're facing or what's going on. And therefore, we try to fix, we try to control. But my advice to you and from experience is to be patient, let go of control and surrender to the process. By doing so, you'll be able to get Sometimes what I find is when I surrender, let go of control, I find that and, and I'm at peace with the situation as well. I find that I then tend to attract solutions. I find answers that I need, even if it's not going to help me get through that certain situation or um, or fix that situation or whatever it is, I will find that I attract um, or receive answers that will help me to then navigate the next step. And it could be as simple as, OK, stop work early. All right. Um, don't take that client on. Um, OK, you know that you've reached your level of tipping point. Um, say no to that, that 
invitation or reach out to this person and share with them what you're going through. Whatever the, the, the solution or the answer is, sometimes in being still, surrendering, letting go of that control, you will find the answers can come to you. Because sometimes we can try to figure out the answers in our head rather than release that, be still and be in a position of receiving. OK, I hope that makes sense. And then um, lastly, we're not here to control anything. We're not in control of anything at all. We're not here to fix anything. We're not here to rescue anyone. We're not here to save anyone. We are simply here to be human. And yes, there are times in life that we face surmountable, surmountable challenges that we just think, oh my goodness, why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to this loved one I care so much about? Why is this happening on a global scale? Can, can nobody stop it? Or whatever it is. But when you go through like the points that I've mentioned before, especially the admitting what's going on, acknowledging what is happening, admitting how you feel about it, um, asking yourself, what can I learn from this? Why is this showing up for me now? Um, what is its purpose in my life? When you gift yourself the space and the support to face the situation or to go through the process of the situation, when you start to take care of yourself and then just surrender and be at peace, you will find everything will work out in the way it's meant to work out. So I hope that makes sense. So that's that's all I have to share with you today. So any questions, any comments, pop them in the comments below. Um, for those of you watching the replay, hashtag replay when you watch back. And let me know what you take away from this. Let me know what you hear from this as well. And if you find this of benefit and um, you found this really interesting as well and you're thinking, wow, I know someone who really needs to hear this message, feel free to share it with them or you can tag them in the comments below um, and share this message with them. If you need help in perhaps you're facing a certain situation, you're going through a certain circumstance or are facing a certain challenge and you're you're feeling overwhelmed or you're you're feeling like toast like what Mel Robbins says I love it I love that acronym you're feeling tired you're feeling overwhelmed anxious or angry um, you're feeling stressed about the situation you're feeling triggered then send me a, a direct message book in a 30 minute call which is absolutely free and it's not a call where I'm going to sell you anything not at all but if we find during the call that you would benefit from working with me, then we can discuss that. But if you want some clarity, you want to, to get calmer, you want to get a lot more focused through whatever it is that you're going through, then, like I said, send me a direct message. Let's book in a 30 minute call and have a chat. All right. OK, lovely sharing this with you all here on Facebook and um, I will see you on another video. Have a wonderful day and I'll speak with you soon.